I'm Maggie. I'm your new neighbor. So? Vincent's flat broke. You owe me money. Here's zero. You went below zero. And a ladies' man. I'm a little tight right now. I'm not J.C. Finney. But to his new neighbors. I can watch the kid after school. Really? He's a saint. Why is he mowing your dirt patch? I'm showing him how the world works. Are you drinking alcohol? What kind of a man takes a child to the racetrack? What is that, lunch money? Well, you might as well learn the hard way. Oh, God. St. Vincent. Read PG-13. Select cities October 10th. Hello, I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. A common saying you've probably heard in your lifetime is that often the world just won't let a clown be serious. This is referring to how, when a performer spends much of their career in comedic roles, audiences are hesitant or even downright resistant to them trying something more dramatic. Sometimes for good reason, other times not. For example, Jim Carrey and Adam Sandler had great success in comedies, or at least they used to, but their more dramatic films have had box office receptions that could be charitably called lukewarm. However, there are exceptions to every rule, and Bill Murray shows that he is one of them with today's film, St. Vincent. Set in Brooklyn, St. Vincent tells the story of the title character, an aging, unemployed, alcoholic misanthrope, played by Bill Murray. Vincent's life consists mostly of drinking, expanding his gambling debts, and hooking up with his pregnant hooker girlfriend, Daka, played by Naomi Watts. But all that is interrupted when Maggie, played by Melissa McCarthy, moves in next door with her son Oliver, played by Jane Li Lieberher. Vincent's interactions with his new neighbors will not only change their lives for the better, but his as well. On the surface, this sounds like a very traditional and shop-worn plot, and in some respects it is, but the characters and their interactions are what really elevate the soul above its somewhat cliched storyline. Bill Murray is by far the standout among this stellar cast. Vincent is very much a down-on-his-luck average Joe with a good brain and a good heart buried under a hard shell. Murray completely sells this persona. Whenever he does something you, you could hardly call nice, you see that there is always good intention behind it and that his demeanor comes from a very hard life. That last bit is a bit, obviously a bit more fleshed out in the movie, but for the sake of avoiding some pretty tear-jerking spoilers, I will say no more. Melissa McCarthy is also top-notch in an admittedly against-type role. Her character is a struggling, newly divorced mom, and McCarthy, while still very funny, plays the part with a great deal of restraint and subtlety. This is, of course, in great contrast to her typical raunchy, crazy woman routine, but she is more than capable of pulling it off. Really, the only weak spot, in my opinion, is probably the Oliver character. He's acted well enough, and his relationships with McCarthy and Murray are very compelling, but they try to force in this really cliched and sappy subplot about him being bullied, and it really doesn't have much of a payoff. It gets resolved, yes, but it's, it happens really quickly, and frankly it has little to do with the overall storyline, and could have been covered in the movie pretty easily. The message of this movie is also quite an uplifting one. It's about how really anyone has the potential to turn around not only their own lives, but, their, but the lives of those around them but not always in the ways you might expect. Overall, I give St. Vincent a high big screen rating. It's a funny, charming, and often bittersweet look at how, how the world affects us and how we affect the world. I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Goodbye.